Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. I am happy to have this box in front of me because it's taken a while to get to me. This is from Grim Skull or War Games Exclusive, whichever way you wish to refer to them. It is the Necro Cyborg General Grievous, not Grievous, or Grievous, or whatever it is. Anyway, this guy took, oh gosh, I don't even know how long it finally made it. Uh, it was lost. I don't want to say lost. It just had a very long transit to get across the Atlantic to the other side of the globe where I am in California. And funny enough, as soon as I got him, then I started seeing him trickling into distribution and some of the guys that stock these online, uh, like on eBay. So if you're curious about what he looks like in the end, if you want to get yourself one, do it while you can and you don't have to wait like two months like I did. So enough chit chat. Let's see what the actual model looks like. Wee. All right. First off, forty millimeter base. Nothing interesting down there. He does have a very nicely detailed. Almost looks like Yarick. I believe those are his feet that are actually going to go on that scenic base. That's kind of cool. Uh, I do like when we have very delicate. Fragile models, you know, have an extra bit of support, and I always like custom bases anyway. Come on. There we go. The torso. Very necro cyborgish, if you will. A little tiny bit of cleanup necessary there. Nothing too bad. You have the bits to make the cloak. There we go. I'm get it in focus and ignore my green stuff and crusted fingernails at the moment and all chipped up from trying to fight with some models. Very necro cyborg, very Star Wars ish looking. Ooh. And then we have not one, not two, not three, but actually four at least three and a hilt, blades that are going to be in his hands. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe a leg? Looks like a leg, maybe. Yeah, I think those are like pistons that go on the back of it. It's going to attach like so. Okay. And then an extra hand. How many hands do you have, my friend? I think one of these is supposed to be resting on the blade there. One of these is supposed to be like shoved into the base, I believe like that. Or something similar. Or maybe it's in our not yard guy. I think it goes like that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I will get to work on this. I'll show you how it looks and I will let you know any issues we have putting it together. So hold on tight. So our Necro Cyborg General is pretty much put together. I say pretty much because I did not bother attaching his cape yet. And let me show you why. So his sword is not attached either just because it's kind of in the way and we'll get to it eventually. But you can see it's supposed to slot in right here into his fancy detailed base. We'll, we'll just set it to the side. So yes, our Necro Cyborg general, general should look quite familiar to you, and I hadn't noticed he's got a dead Commissar that looks quite familiar on that base. Actually, there's been some pretty impressive Commissars lately from War Games Exclusive. Just a shame that their schedule is so slow and erratic with when releases come out. So here he is on top of that base. And if I manage to grab his cloak bits, I'm not 100% sure where they were supposed to go anyways. I think underneath his shoulder pad. No, maybe the other way around. Okay, this one for sure is going to go back here. Cha-ching. And then I think the other one is supposed to go like that up the side or something I don't know I'll figure it out and it's not to me it's a bit extra surproof surp 
superfluous extra junk that's just going to be adorning him anyways. Grabbing an actual necro-cyborg, quote-unquote, warrior to show a good sense of scale. Obviously, he's a lot bigger. Grabbing one of our other War Games exclusive floaty friends here, whose name I don't remember, but he's totally not a, not a canoptic. Oh, gosh. My brain has just shut down in terms of Necron junk. I don't know why. And then with an actual Marine here. So you can see he is a good size. He is a bit thin-limbed, so you'll want to be careful, of course. But that goes with most resin models anyways. Got to take care of those so they don't end up snapping and breaking on us like we would fear. Grabbing a couple of robot lords from One Page Rules as well. Stylistically, they don't really fit in, but then again, it's not like these two match up as it is. I think the aesthetic for our general here is a lot closer to modern Necrons versus this guy came out kind of in the in-between phase around the time Forge Bang came out. I think he was supposed to be like the priest dude that was in that box whose name is escaping me, but I have it in the comments, so thank you very much. I don't need any actually type comments down there below then like I don't know what I'm talking about because sometimes I do believe it or not uh overall a cool looking kit uh then again being a Necron style model it's not going to take the most elaborate paint jobs to get him up to snuff you can always cheat throw some silvery chrome on there and he'll be good to go but if you're not into that hey maybe it would be a proxy grievous and probably it's going to get used in games of something like Stargrave or Planet 28 or you know what is it? Four parsecs from home or whatever that new one is. I gotta get a good look at that one. That looks right up my alley. Something parsecs from home from Modifius. Uh, cool looking sci-fi skirmish stuff. Anyway, so overall, nice looking kit. Uh, I dig the fancy base. I wish it was an integral style one like our friend right here has. But, you know, can't complain too much. Like I said, the only issue I see is the thinness of the limbs, and I have had issues with cracking, breaking, necro-cyborg parts. I used to have a lot of the other models that War Games Exclusive has had, and I did have to do quite a bit of repairs just due to the thinness of their limbs. But on the other hand, I've had the same issue with actual legit plastic necrons and the fine cast ones too. So I think it's just the nature of their spindly robotic appendages. That's what we're going to blame it on. So if it looks like something up your alley, if you've never had a chance to take a look at War Games exclusive stuff in person, I gotta say the quality of the resin is always quite nice and easy to work with. Most of the parts are clean before, you know, even having to start building it. So not much worries there. And they usually go together pretty intuitively. So we'll put a link down below if you haven't had a chance to take a look at their stuff. There is all kinds of interesting goodies there. And there even is some cheesecake stuff for those of you who are a fan of that. But it is obviously at a gaming scale, so do be aware. With that said, though, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. And we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.